Hey fam, welcome back to the page. So, quick video lang to kasi di tayo dito makapag-stream pa. Sira yung OBS, so I'm not sure kung kailan pa dito makapag-stream. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about dito sa ating maintenance notice na mangyayari ngayong October 16. And at the same time, yung specs dito ng phone na pinaka the best dito para sa game. And I'm sure dito na hindi pa optimized masyado yung game, but these are the recommended specs. Papakita natin later on. So, we'll just go along dito sa mga bago na i-add nila, nila, which is itong sa four characters galing sa Demon Slayer Corp. Uh, and then, yung maintenance dito will start at October 16. Shutdown matching pool nila ka dito pwede mag-match. 3. And then, 3.30 dito mang sa start. So, probably around 4.30 or 5.30 pwede na ka dito maglaro or 5 so yeah uh, may bugs may, bu may bug din dito pala agile leather shoes uh, fail to recover 10% of mana after gaining heal or assist so may compensation is ready to nagdagdag so ito po yung ating changes for Majin Buu so nak nakasabi dito is mabilis na mamatay yung mga pieces dito ni Majin Buu so iba buff nila konti so ito po yung changes ito na mangyayari so yung passive niya dito increase the HP of flash pieces Increase the cooldown of resurrection. And then, ito namang sa skill 1 niya, Transfiguration Beam. When hitting minions, immediately recover 4 HP. Standing still, then recover 6 HP. So, ito yung iba, uh, kanilang ditong idadagdag. When hitting minions, immediately recover 8% HP. So, 4% dagdag yan. And standing still, same pa rin. And then, ang control time, galing sa 1 second to 1.5. So, medyo mababa na dito yung kanyang stun. And then, pagdating naman dito kay Chopper, Uh, Tony Tony Chopper sing the character's position in actual battle performance We slightly increase the control time of Tony Chopper So same pa rin, iba buff pa rin nila uh, Horn point niya dito sa first skill Slightly increase the duration of airborne cost And then yung kung full point niya rin dito Slightly increase the duration of airborne, or airborne cost So ayun, tas binawasan dito ang cooldown Which is a good thing guys Napakaganda dito, 5 seconds ang bawas Sa first skill uh, I mean sa first skill sa uh, level 1, level 2, level 3 So, 4 seconds dito sa level 3. So, medyo mababa din dito yung nabawas. And then kay Megumi, check natin dito yung changes ito kay Megumi. Seeing the character's positioning and the actual battle performance as a DPS type mage, Megumi Fushiguro has fewer skills with a disproportionate number of deaths. <laughs> Always yan. As Megumi Fushiguro relies a lot on the damage ability of the third skill, Chimera Shadow Garden, yung kanyang um, third skill. Domain expansion. Reduce the cooldown time. We reduce the cooldown time of the skill and enhance Megumi's physical and magic resistance when he is within the domain. So, para mas tatagal po siya dito sa domain. So, technically speaking, mas mahirap na siya dito patayin sa loob. So, if ever na medyo na annoy kayo dito sa kanya dati, mas maonoy kayo sa kanya ngayon. And then, ito po yung changes. Ayan lang po siya. So, binawasan lang dito yung cooldown. And then, increase physical. So, lahat dito binawaf nila, guys. And then, kay Minato naman, ito siya. Um, I'm not sure kung ano yung mga changes, but we'll see. Seeing the character's positioning, okay. Minato is more difficult to master, so increase the damage of the enhanced basic attacks. And skill 2, flying region to make Minato less challenging to play with. So, yeah, they are making adjustments dito. They are buffing the damage para mas mabilis na gamitin. Which doesn't make sense. But, uh, we'll see na lang ganito kung ano yung mga changes na ginawa. <laughs> okay, 290 character level 10 Okay, physical attack 1.1 So tinasan nila dito yung percentage dito na dagdag So from 290 to 330 Character level 10 uh, Plus physical attack times 1.1 So it's the same thing Pero yung 330 lang dito Tinasan lang nila dito ng counting points uh, Tapos uh, yun yung para sa kanyang passive Kanyang second skill naman yung fly flying raging, raging. Uh, 320 Oh my god, 100 points itong dinagdag tapos sinasan pa dito ng uh, physical attack dito na uh, multi uh, multiplier which is coming from 0.78 to 0.9. So medyo mataas sa itong dinagdag guys. So expect nyo rin dito yung mga main dito ng mina to. Mas batak na batak na naman yung mga yan. Alright, uh, I think this is the last one kay Shinobu. Seeing the actors positioning, okay, Shinobu uh, is good enough at killing. But her survivability is weak. Yep, tama ako dito. Yung survivability niya dito, mabilis siyang mamatay, lalo na dito sa in-game. The adjustment increased Shinobu's HP recovery, which is a good thing. And damage reduction uh, duration, strengthening Shinobu Kocho's survivability. So, that's good, that's good. So, ito, skill 1 niya dito, bug fixed. Okay, na, na may, may bug din pala dito. The damage reduction duration in the skill description is 5 seconds. 
but their actual duration is only 3 seconds so inayos lang nila tapos ang HP recovery dito ito na po 265 dito points to 330 and then skill level times 15 times 20 dito so additional multiplier plus 5 and then ang magic attack dito is the same okay and I think the last one here para sa mga turrets naman to Uh, extend the release type of interval minions after 10 minutes and increase the golden in XP gained by killing minions by 30 oh my god ang taas naman so meaning mas mabilis ito matapos yung game guys the physical attack of super minions is increased by 20% so basically they want the matches dito to be um, faster so physical attack of super minions is increased by 20% increase the HP of the first turret from 5000 to 6000 so gusto nila dito Uh, from early game to mid game, medyo matagal-tagal. Pero pag late game na, rekta na kagad ba sa 10 minutes and beyond. Mabilis na dito yung pag-farm, lahat-lahat. Ang task dito, 32% ang dinagdag, guys. Uh, yan lang naman natin yung mga changes na mangyayari ngayong October 16. But we're gonna also talk about yung ating specs para sa device dito. Kung ano yung pinaka-recommended dito sa lahat. So, basically, uh, dalawa talaga to always, guys. There are two classes. There are two types dito. The first one is recommended. Tsaka yung isa is yung minimum supported. So, ang recommended dito, ang tinatarget nila dyan is 60 FPS. It doesn't matter kung naka-HD ka, naka-high graphics ka, or hindi. But, makakapag-target ka ng 60 FPS. So, yan yung recommended for the most part. And then, ang minimum dito na supported, yan yung pwede lang laruin yung game. But, it doesn't matter kung ano FPS mo. So, kung magka-crash man yan, as long as ma-open yung game yan, yung minimum supported ang minimin nila. Ganun ang mga PC terms, ang mga PC games dito ng mga terms. So, I'm not sure if ever they're using the same terms dito sa mobile games. Uh, but we're gonna check. So, ito po yung ating specs na kailangan. Uh, this is coming from a screenshot dito na nakakita ko sa kanilang group. So, basically, ang ating Android devices, ang recommended is, ang system version is Android 7, which is Nougat. And then process, uh, pro pro processor, processor Snapdragon 765 and above. So if ever you have a, a Snapdragon 765 and above, so technically you will get 60 FPS. But it doesn't mean dito pag naka 765 ka dito, makakapag high graphics ka na. So um, that's not true. But 60 FPS yung target nyan always. And ang um, RAM is 6 GB and above din. So if ever you have a better dito na device, And then, kung sakali naglalag pa, nagka-crush sa'yo. So, meaning, optimization problem yun. So, you need to send a ticket sa Discord channel nila. By the way, I'm gonna link all the important links down below. Check nilang dito yung pin comment natin. And next dito is yung minimum supported, which is mga devices dito na pwede lang laruin yung game. But it doesn't matter kung ano yung specs, uh, kung nagsistart na ba yung game, kung makakuha ka ba dito ng 30 FPS minimum. So, it doesn't matter. As long as makapaglaro ka yan yung minimum. So, Android 5.1, I think that's Lollipop. And then, Snapdragon 625, and then RAM dito 4GB. So, as long as you have 4GB dito, pwede mo laruin. But, it doesn't mean dito maging smooth ang gameplay nyo. So, if ever you have a chipset dito that is in the middle of 625, Snapdragon 625, and uh, in the middle of Snapdragon 765 then. So, meaning you need to tweak dito yung mga uh, settings mo. Uh, for you to be able to get 60 FPS or higher. You know, you're not 60 FPS lang pala. So, probably around 45 FPS, okay lang din naman yan kasi mahaba lang naman to in the first place. Um, but yeah, quick video tayo pero uh, humaba na dito yung video natin. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. If ever na you have still have any questions, do let me know. Try lang nyo lang dito. I-check to. Screenshot na lang to guys. Lakyat natin para makita nyo. Ayan po. Isend nyo lang ito sa mga kakilala nyo if ever naglalag. And just like what I've said, uh, check nyo lang always yung mga links dito kung mag-open sila ulit dito ng slots. But I think that's it. Hopefully makapag-stream na tayo dito maya-maya guys kasi naglulo ko ang OBS. Kita kids! Peace on earth. Bye-bye.